Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my piano moods and um, contrary to the last video, this time we're going to try and move ahead with this kind of theme that we found out in the last episode. Uh, actually, that was the first episode. So the theme worked something like that. Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, roughly, roughly something like that. So uh, this is not going to be this is not going to be the final um, way the, the the theme sounds. Very often, you start off with something and then you you pair it with some uh, some more harmonies and some more tunes, and in the end, you just realize that it sounds better another way. So um, so what we're doing here is just uh, getting started, you know, basically. And then what do we do after that? What do what do we add to that to make it sound nice? Uh, what's the what's the next thing that we need to tell our listeners? Um, I don't know at this point. I just need to remember that and try to figure out some something that works well after that. So perhaps am I going to switch to? No, that doesn't. Well, that could work. That could be something. Yeah, that could be an idea. That could be something I'm not too happy about. It doesn't really have a lot of personality yet, but um, that's a start. <clears throat> so then you, really what we have to do is just try and give some, uh, give, get, get some ideas out. You know, it's like whatever the music tells you to do, the, the music is speaking to you. You know, it's like whatever can come after that. The music should tell you what comes after that. It, whatever sounds and feels good, there's always going to be something that sounds and feels better than what you just played. So at some point, you're just going to have to settle for what you what you just played in, in the sense that, yeah, that's really good. I, I like that. Uh, maybe I can find better, but, you know, Beethoven didn't only compose, you know, the, 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 the Ninth Symphony work. I mean, there's a, he composed tons of stuff. And uh, not all of it is on par with his most famous works. The re reason why an artist only has a few famous works that everybody knows is that it's just that hard to come up with such good harmonies and such good, you know, melodies and, and um, um, chords following each other. It's, it's really hard to come up with that good a level. So we're just going to try out a few different uh, harmonies to go after this theme. So, thing is, um, yeah, I might have forgotten what I wanted to say, but um, it made sense when I thought about it. <laughs> so, basically, um, oh yeah, I just remembered. So, uh, I suck as well at another very important aspect of music. I totally suck at rhythm and getting the right number of notes in a measure. So, of course, it's, a, it's always going to sound much better if you put the same amount of notes in each measure, either by number or by rhythm. Uh, so, I can either do... or do this. It's kind of, it can be the same measure. I mean, it's the same quantity of music within 
the two bars of the measure. So uh, I suck at that. So all of you who know the rules of harmony and of rhythm and all of you guys who are really good at music, you're going to feel very frustrated by what you see me doing. But the reason why I'm composing is precisely because I don't give a damn about these rules and I just really didn't want to learn about them. Um, call it like a musician who, who uses those sound effects to, um, to uh, avoid learning how to sing. You know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, that's going to be all for today. I'm going to try and work out something that can go after what we just did today. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, as usual, hit the uh, subscribe button, click that bell, and have a good day. Bye-bye.